Oh. Wow. You really just ruined my intro. Sorry. You had to ruin it, didn't you? Yep. We might as well just keep this in YouTube now. Okay. What's good, YouTube? We're back with another podcast, week number two, and we got a pretty good subject today. We're going to be talking about video games. Just video games. We wanted to do something fun this week. Fun, exciting, not so serious, not so long. Maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Maybe, if that, I don't know. But we do got some good topics, good video games to talk about. I want to start off with my favorite, Last of Us 2. But as always, you guys know how we start this off. We go read the news first. And we're going to start off with the good old hot box news. Let's see what's cooking in today's news. What, Fox News is too much? Yeah, Fox right? News is too much. <laughs> Let's see. So, Texas might be reopening soon. That's what's the first post I see. Stupid news. Well, there's a brief meeting. Fox News was live. So apparently Texas is going to try to open up Monday. Retail stores, restaurants, movie theaters to open to customers is limited capacity. Oh, and we are here today with Ethan Juniper and Globe Ultra. Hello, Walter. Not sponsored. We wish. It's literally everything I'm reading about is fucking this stupid virus. Two more people who knew Tara Reid in the 90s reportedly came forward on Monday to back the former Senate staffer claims of sexual misconduct against Joe Biden. It doesn't matter how famous you get, you're always going to have a sexual charge against you, it seems like. Why is that? Is this because, like, people are bored or something? I don't get it. Well, usually... Money. Yeah. It's all to money, but it's just... I mean, but yeah, sometimes it could be they want money, or it could just be that people who have money think they can or get don't away like, with stuff. Or don't like Biden. Just then, the White House is taking steps to dramatically ramp up testing for coronavirus during the months of May and June. Terry Bradshaw was on Fox News. That's the only good thing on there. Bro, this is... There's nothing. Boring as fuck. Uh, let's see. So people put their cars in a heart shape at Lakes Region General Hospital to show their support and appreciation for the healthcare workers. That sounds like a lot of pain in the ass. Why couldn't you just give them a card? Or tell them. They literally park their cars in a heart shape. Or, you know, pay for their meals for a few days or something, because I think they deserve that a lot more than... <laughs> a heart shape. Than a cars in a heart shape. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm just... That's just... No. Sorry to me. I, I'd be fucking... Bro, none of this is even interesting to read right now. Washington State Anglers protest fishing ban amid coronavirus outbreak. Let us fish. Uh, yeah, okay, but honestly, they probably should. This goes play. back to last week's podcast where if you don't own the lake, you shouldn't shut it down. I'm sorry. Earth was here before a governor was. It's just saying. I'm not getting back into that though. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Alright, yeah, I'm already tired of foxing. Let's go um, to a different one. Do ABC. Apparently, I gotta do ABC News. There we go. Let's see how interesting these ones are. That bump your chair, chair is gonna fuck you up. Why are you asking about news? No. Uh. Um, are, you, are you like being seen right now? Yeah. No. Everyone wants to stay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you, you want the TV? You can play. Oh no, I'm just, I'm just listening to, to I that. I don't care. I'm just listening to Are that. you looking up news? Yeah, he's yeah, looking Yeah, we want it to just bring. Oh, I Oh my god, so this this couple got married and they like live chatted through the cars. Uh, did you say a lot of people are like driving theater weddings and stuff? That's kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. The kindergarten teacher with 80,000 students, bro? Holy shit. How? Largest Facebook groups. Huh, interesting. That's awesome. Happening now! Bernie Sanders hosts virtual town hall on effects of COVID. Wait, he can still swing a baseball bat? No way, bro. That's... Bro, he can still swing a baseball bat. Jesus. Emma Stone hosts virtual dance party to raise money for children and mental health amid... COVID-19. I hate that word. Admin. Who am, who's Emma Stone? Is that the one who played, um... Easy A? Easy A. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's the one everyone knows her from. What one are you looking at right now? ABC. What the ABC, yeah. No, ABC's pretty neutral. Yeah, yeah so far there's that. only, so far there's only like two or three that was, I liked. So meat isn't going to disappear from supermarkets, but processing plants struggle to remain open. Consumers could face less selection at higher prices. I'm gonna say, wait, how's it gonna how's it gonna stay in the supermarket if the processing gets shut down? Someone wants to be on your podcast. This is Stella, everybody. Here, let's see. Look at her, she's like. This is Stella. Oh, Stella Bella Blue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, she's killing my bag. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. Okay, don't, don't, don't. A fog waterfall. That was pretty cool. Let's, might as well show the... Uh, where's my display capture? Here we go. Fog waterfall. Oh, that's cool. There's probably sound, but... You guys probably can't hear it. Yeah, it's just... Pretty badass, I'm gonna lie. Huh. Look at how. F that's all. That's in Spain. Barcelona, Spain. I wonder if that's how fast it's moving. Or is it sped up, probably, huh? What does it say? Time lapse, yeah. That's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. And go back. Three sisters who are excited to welcome their newborn brother showed love from, the, from a safe distance as their parents looked on from the Aww, hospital window. Don't talking about coronavirus. I'm done with that shit. And. NBA players might be able to suit up for workouts after May 8th, league announces. Limited workouts.
misconception about UFOs. What? Oh yeah, the Pentagon just freaking released those. Huh. It's a UFO. Alright, and last but not least, we're gonna go with CNN and get this shit over with. This ought to be good. I might skip this next week because this, this week was really boring. Hey, GG. <laughs> Trump says he takes no responsibility for the spike in people using disinfectants improperly. I wouldn't either. Guys, chill. Fifty sailors from the USS Kid has tested positive for the virus, according to US Navy. Jesus Christ. Pentagon officially releases UFO videos. People say it could be a drone. It's UFO. Yeah, see, I think it pretty well CNN and what was that first one we looked at? Fox. Uh, Talk about the same shit. Uh, yeah, because they gotta keep interfacing with each other. Scientists create glow in the dark plants. All right, let's get on with the main topic now. Ethan, you still alive? Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead. What's up, Viper? It's 100% a UFO. <laughs> Bro, I would 100% agree with that. Let's go ahead. Here, baby, you wanna listen? You're gonna watch uh, Overwatch. We're gonna talk about Overwatch first for a little bit. I played Overwatch 1. I definitely Definitely. Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to paint and do this. Well, probably not. We're gonna go ahead and just watch this trailer real quick, guys. Hopefully. So, Overwatch 2 is coming out. I don't know when, though. We're gonna review this, so no copyright intended. This is IGN video. gonna have it's basically gonna be they're overhauling the first game like they're taking all the characters 
in transferring them to that one. You also get all the stuff you earned from that the first one, so like any of the skins and stuff like that that you got. Oh, that's nice. Will be in your one. So, Blizzard's looking out for their fans. Yeah. Blizzard's really good at making games, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, they're... they're Overwatch the is my... Overwatch is definitely my favorite Blizzard game. It's actually one of my top five favorite games, in all honesty. The only problem is Dawson's never online to play it. I have it, I just... I never really got into it. Yeah. I watched Dawson and I play competitive on that game, so... They can get, you know, it gets pretty intense. I watch people <laughs> play it, and I just can't get into it. I mean, I got into it a couple times, I'm not gonna lie. The problem is, is if you do start playing it now, you have all of these characters now. Like yeah. a long time ago, when like when I first started playing, there were not like, there were probably half the characters. So, and that's the other thing I like. At least the characters they release are free. That's always a plus. Uh. What do you think of the trailer so far? I am absolutely loving it, honestly. Yeah, uh, a little bit about their trailers, which I will explain after you're done oh, watching. It's really this. long, though. It's eight minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a long trailer, but I'll ex I'm gonna explain something to you, like how they do that after you're done with that. So. <clears throat> Oh, the monkey's pissed! Right, he's pissed! Oh, he's so mad, bro. It looks like my character here. The one I like to use. I don't know their names. Are they going to implement new characters, too, or no? Yeah, I think so. They're actually, I think they're about to drop the last character, I think, on the first game. Unless they already released her, I'm not sure, I haven't played it in so long. I don't know if she's on there yet or not. But that one, uh, that, like, angel-looking chick that you saw so far, did you see her yet? The which one? She... She's like a robot. Uh, she kind of looks like an angel. Oh, yeah. She's on here now. Yeah, she, she just yeah she's gonna be the new Overwatch character. Yeah, I was talking about that assassin looking dude. That's the one I like. How are we going to stop this thing? Hey, you're back Okay, Justin just told me Echo is out. That is her name. This is getting hot! She's getting hot! <laughs> oh my. And I like using that one girl who used that sniper. I can't think of her. So, a cool concept that they showed in the trailer is they're using team alts, and I'm wondering, are they going to include that in the game, because team alts will be nice. Snowing, it's just a robot blew up and got ice inside of it. Oh.
<laughs> That's the girl, I think. The one that like teleports a lot. Oh, Tracer? Yeah! I like her too. Monsieur, I like the weird one, bro. Oh, no, she's amazing. The only I problem just, is like she takes like... One. The only problem with her is... You take like three hits and she's dead. <laughs> but I like, I like moving fast. Yeah, that is nice. Okay, yeah. Oh. Something I found out the other day about her, when you play her, if your gun is low on ammo and you use your reverse thing, it reloads your gun. Oh, yeah. I do that. I, I didn't know that. I was I like, said, what? just so overpowered. It was like, uh, it was like Rewind on, um, what the hell was that? Infinite Warfare. Remember Rewind? Mm -hmm. It was the same thing. Alright, so it was Overwatch 2, everybody. Um, they definitely piqued my interest. Because I like Overwatch 1, but I just I don't play it. You guys know me. If you guys know Murdoch Gamer, you know he's Call of Duty, and that's about it. You might see some Rainbow Six here and there, but most of the time I'm always on. I'm always on Call of Duty, which I'm going to change eventually. Be switching it up a bit. But that one definitely piqued my interest. Okay, well, uh, something about the Overwatch, like that, how you saw that trailer, their lore videos are all in that style, so you, you can actually look up and someone condensed all of them into a movie, and it's like an hour and a half worth of videos. Holy smokes! <laughs> <laughs> and they're all like oh, sorry, character developments. You can learn about characters that way. It's pretty interesting stuff. The thing that throws me off, I think, about Overwatch is the fact that there is so many characters, but that's because I'm entering it late. I guess yeah, if you start yeah, it sooner than later, it's a lot better for that yeah, game. Yeah, it's, it's, it was a lot better if you joined when the you game are, first started. Those, those characters, and then you can implement the new ones as you go, whereas if I jumped into it, I'd have all of them, and I'd be, like, a little overwhelmed, like, oh. Oh, yeah, like, oh, no. Oh, but that, yeah. that, and you go in without a team, it's like, you are playing with randoms. What am I supposed to do? Like <laughs> You play with randoms, and it's like, no. uh, so it's like, well, I don't know. Well, usually you have, you have the three separate groups. There's your tanks, your DPS, and your supports, and you just gotta learn the characters. That's the main thing. Yeah, that's the main thing, it seems like. That's like that's like if someone jumps into Rainbow Six Siege, they don't know the characters. I do. Yeah, see, and I don't I don't base I don't base my Rainbow Six off of what the character does, and I know I should. But see, that we see here I base, that's the thing. I think in Overwatch you have to. Yeah, I base I, Rainbow I, Six. You don't. Rainbow Six, I base it off of what guns I the, can use for the character. The best way to learn on Overwatch how to play characters, there is an arcade mode, it's called Mystery Heroes, and you just get a random character every time you respawn. Now see, I'd like that. Which, I think we, me, I think it was me, you, and uh, Megan played that, Ethan. Yeah, yeah, we did. Because you guys that's... didn't know I was in there. Yeah, Dawson and I, that's the only game mode we play besides competitive. But yeah, I think like if we're gonna so if we compared it to Rainbow Six with all the characters, it Rainbow Six you don't actually have to use their abilities. There's half the times I play Rainbow yeah. Six, I don't use their abilities because you don't have I, to. I have like I have like three main characters for that game, and that's it. Like I can walk <laughs> in there with a sniper rifle and, and shoot through two walls and still get a kill. This game is way different. Yeah. <laughs> so, I do like the game though. I will say, I, I do enjoy Overwatch. Again, I just, I, I don't play it. We'll start, though, someday. Good idea. Just let me know, I'll help. Uh, let's see, let's talk about a, a, another game. It just came out. Uh, but you don't have to listen on the trailer if you don't want to. It's fine. Alright. I'm gonna... Uh, play Predator Hunting Grounds. It just came out. It piqued my interest a long, long time ago. Um, like the biggest yes, I love Predator, so. And this, uh, hold on. Whoopsie. Wrong button. Um, this is by IGN again. The copy.
copyright intended. I can't. I can't have a Probably. They're usually the first to know about a lot of games. So, to me, I can already tell you this game, when I looked at it, was like a, a Dead by Daylight twist. But with one character. And it looked like it had missions in, which I'm super stoked to get this game. I haven't yet. I will. I want to pay my mortgage first. You know, that's, kind of, that's kind of important. Which, I was supposed to pre-order it and I forgot about it. It came out April 24th and I was like, ah oh, man, I fucking missed my opportunity. What is that? It, I watched um, H2O and everyone play it, and this game looks so badass, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say it's good though, I don't know. Does it look good? Hell yeah. I think it'd be a lot better with uh, a group of friends as well. Yeah. Yeah. interesting did you not see the trailer for that before no there there actually is another game I uh, I would like us to watch for a trailer I haven't seen it yet but. that paintbrush that you showed me it's right here probably this is probably it yeah. who cares it doesn't look like a mistake I didn't notice the mistake until you uh, showed it uh, to you I didn't see it you had to point it out to me. Wagon. Yeah, that game, I don't know. To me, when I was watching a lot of players, uh, like an alpha or beta version of it, man, it looked, it looked pretty badass. But then again, it's one of them games that it, it, I think it could be a definite hit or miss. Because mm -hmm. it's like you're taking um, a different game yeah. and you're kind of no. making your own, your own version of it. Cause it's like a Dead by Daylight to me, and then they just kind of just they added a their own version to it. Definitely had missions in it though, cause I was watching H2O play. It. He had um, they had to like what secure sites and stuff. Yeah, they had to do things before the predator killed them. Which I thought was that's gonna be I think a fun part to the whole entire game itself. What was the game you wanted to watch? <clears throat> well, six years ago, one of my uh, the first game I ever played on PS4 came out. Obviously, it's like the only good game to play at the time. Infamous Second Son came out, and for six years I've been waiting for them to finally re Sucker Punch Studios to finally release another game, and they finally decided to do that. Oh boy. And it's not another infamous game, even though those games were amazing. All three of them were, but this one is Ghost of Tsushima. I thought he was going to stop at Sushi. <laughs> Ghost of Sushi. Ghost of Sushi. <laughs> what? They they decided to go with a futuristic samurai. Oh approach. my god! I think I watched this one. It's you can pre-order it already, can't you? Yeah, it is pre-orderable. A pre-order game. Pre-orderable but... game. Ah, shit, woman. <laughs> Be nice. And I haven't seen the trailer yet. I was like... Whoa. Yeah, I was talking about this when I watched it there on PlayStation. I was like, yo, alright, let's, uh, let's fire this old bad boy up. It looks very exciting. 
I, I do remember this trailer. This is a good one. I'm ready. I haven't seen it yet. I'm ready. I'm pretty sure audio is working on my stream. Yeah, it is. Okay, I just want to make sure. When we fight, this one gave me chills. Let me take their life. I love the story of the Samurais, dude, not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. It looks so good. Like, it does. the graphics look phenomenal. This is captured on PS4 Pro. So we face death and defend our home. Yeah, I think Sucker Punch Studios is a very underrated game. Oh no, someone was talking about Wasteland. That's the trailer on I watched Wasteland shit. I watched Wasteland. That looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Yeah, I'll probably get that one. Alright. June 106, baby. Yeah, that, that looked fucking... That looked badass. I like I like seeing his bun. I like seeing his bun. Because that's that's a samurai. And if they, they cut it off in battle, it's what isn't that called? Humiliation or something? It's, yeah, it's... Not good. Uh, yeah, then you're not a samurai, apparently. It uh, dishonors you. Yeah, it dishonors your samurai life. Dishonor on you? Dishonor on your cow! So, fun fact about samurais did you know Mission Bishi was made from a samurai? The company? Ooh. I did no. not know that until I watched the uh, documentary. I have, a, I have a book about samurai. Dude, samurais are badass. So, that game. I don't care. It's probably it looked like a it, it looked like the mechanics of Assassin's Creed with the stealth yeah. with the stealth and yeah. the, the jumping from the limb there and the grapple hook. I feel like it's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be a good game, but it's, I think it's gonna be a little glitchy. Definitely gonna be glitches, just like yeah, just the, like Assassin's Creed. So Sucker Punch Games has they have some bugs in their other games. That are pretty bad. What's up, Shade? What's up, viewers? You guys got inputs on games you want to see? Just um, send a message. Let me know. And we'll look them up. We're going to be talking about all kinds of video games. We're just going to get through some main ones we want to see. Um, big, hot topic games right now. Um, yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely down for that game. It looked fun as hell. Kind of gave me chills a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Of course, Boy, Alex you want to know about what? Your own shitty game. You want to know what gave me chills when I watched it? 
two trailers, God of War and uh, Last of Us 2. Dude, Last of Us 2 gives me ch chills just because I played Last of Us 1. We ain't gonna get into that subject yet. Yeah, that's gonna be the last thing <laughs> to talk about, bro. You know, that's 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 Murdoch Gamer's dream right there to talk about Last of Us 2. Everyone know that. Everyone that knows Murdoch and AC, we're gonna be talking about video games today. They know Last of Us 2 is gonna be up in discussion. I've been talking about that game since. Before it was even announced. Yeah, before it was even made. I was talking about that game. As soon as I ended the first one, I'm like, alright, we're the second one. So, we're gonna be getting into that one, trust me. <laughs> mm. God of War, though, they. Dude, God of War does have some really good ass trailers. Uh, yeah, like. Oh my god, during the E3 trailer when they showed Kratos, everyone shit themselves. <laughs> it's so great to watch. So, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, you September. mean Keanu Reeves? Yeah, yes. twenty seventy-seven. Seventeen is coming out, but it was pushed back multiple times. I just, I want to look at how many times it was pushed back. I don't remember. Yeah, it was supposed to be out. April. Yeah, and April then, this, uh, like mid-April. Yeah, and then they pushed it to September. And I was the company push. announced it in January that uh, Cyberpunk is delayed from this April to September. I thought it was delayed before that, too. No, that sounds about right. There's going to be my birthday present. Oh, another game that's coming out that they don't have anything much for yet. They are making another Saints Row game. I saw that. I was like, what? <sighs> Apparently, they're starting work on GTA 6. Yeah. And uh I did and hear Elder about, Scrolls 6. I did hear about, um, yeah, Elder Scrolls, the new, I've seen some of the, the Elder Scrolls talk, which I'm kind of excited for, but at the same time, like, I always get excited for Elder Scrolls and then it just dies just, off. I don't ever see you ever play it, so. Yeah, it just dies off. I, dude, that last Elder Scrolls to me was, I got rid of it. I deleted it. I had it a disc and I sold it. I, I gave it back to GameStop. I was like, no, I'm done. I'm just going to lose more. Not me. Again, it's just one of those games I can I, I I can get into for a good couple days, and then it just it, it dies off for me. I just I don't know. Uh, I don't. I get into it for about two months, and then I stop playing it finally. <laughs> and, and that's the thing with me, like video games lately for me, it's just you know I want to play them more than just a few times. Yeah, that's how I am too. Um, but Cyberpunk, if you want my honest opinion, I like Keanu Reeves, but I'm just, I don't know. Not feeling like your kind of game there either. It just doesn't feel like my type of game. I'll probably get it. But it again, seems like you don't like RPG games. You might be right on that. He doesn't. He does not like them. Because I like you, Free World you said you, 100%. Free World is yeah, one of Free my World. games. Yeah. I love RPG. There is one RPG game I do not like. I just can't get into it, and that is The Witcher 3. I know everyone talks <gasps> I love highly that of that game. But again, I cannot. I even looked into it. I was just like, yeah, that is not my cup of tea, bro. I cannot play it. It's... It's what's so what's hard. some other yeah. RPG games you guys play that... Fallout? Yeah, no. I it's... tried Fallout, and that was actually not my cup of tea either. Like, uh, Fallout 76 was fun to me, but it was only fun because I, I actually... Recognized stuff. Yeah, I actually went to Trans Allegheny mm -hmm. Lunatic Asylum. I actually went to... Moundsville. Moundsville Penitentiary, so seeing those in the game was like, Bro, this is fucking badass. Uh, it took me two kind of hours. Crazy. It took me two kind of hours to get to Trans Allegheny. I didn't have. I was like level two. Yeah, and you're going like, against fucking people that was like a level seventy. I'm like, whoa, whoa, man. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. He says. Yeah, I had to cross through territory, which was fun. But yeah. then after that, I was like, yeah, this is boring. The other, <laughs> the other ones aren't that bad, like that one, because the enemies level up with you. So, which I'm not gonna lie, I did like that part. I did like. 
traversing a, across lands that I wasn't supposed to be in because it, it makes a, a challenge to sneak around. But again, it took me two motherfucking hours to get there. Which was fun. Oh my god. Well, let's get into some cyberpunk. Oh. Yana Reeves. Hey, Ethan. What? You're breathtaking. <laughs> no, you're breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get that man a free copy of the best edition of the game. He's freaking. I love Keanu Reeves with a freaking passion. I'm not sure if I actually seen this trailer. I have. I've seen all of them. Oh, I watched them. I'm for ready. Keanu Reeves. Boy, I already have chills. We've only been watching this for five seconds. I already got chills. <laughs> Finish my favorite game of all time. Ouch. Man just cleaned up. Now you're gonna make him all bloody and shit. Come on, dog. Cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this cocksucking attention, damn it. Who it is? My man. No, that's my man. No, that's my man. No, that's my man. <laughs> Look at that sexy, breathtaking man right there. <laughs> Chris is like, wow, guys. <laughs> Y'all taking my man from me, bro. <laughs> Your man, nah. <laughs> nah, clearly my man. <laughs> <clears throat> Do we have anything to talk about? You're breathtaking. <laughs> because clearly it's cyberpunk. 
You're breathtaking. I mean, I'm gonna buy it just because uh, Keanu Reeves. That's it. I, if fully, I play the game, I play the game. If I beat fully the game, customizable. I beat the game. Character, but, but now, open world, RPG. What do you uh, mean fully yeah. customizable character? I just want to play as Keanu Reeves. <laughs> oh man, like literally, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I might not like the game, but I'm gonna like it just because Keanu Reeves. Is <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna be honest with exactly. you. Exactly. Breath Breath. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I'm not kidding. Like, I might hate the game, but it's still Keanu Reeves, so I'm going to love it. No yeah, I might hate the what. game, but once Keanu Reeves shows up, I'm going to love the game. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Dude, he's an, he's an icon. He really is. And he wasn't an icon up until, like, a few years ago. Because ah. Bill, I mean, I talk about Bill and Ted, and most people are like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, but what happens when you talk about Matrix or something? What the hell was that? Matrix, the Matrix. I mean... Yeah, I always forget that he's in that. Exactly. <laughs> and then I'm reminded and I'm like, that was Keanu Reeves. I think of Bill and Ted. You know, actually, if you guys want my my first thought of um, Keanu Reeves is the fact that it's, it's not any of the movie season at all. It's not even the video game that he's just... It's the fact that he's so nice that he even rides the subway. He's a millionaire, but not a millionaire. Yeah, he, his mom died, his sister her, his sister died, his wife and his daughter died. So he never, I, I guess he, it humbled him. Well, I don't think he was really not that humble to be, or, yeah. Unhumbled. Like, my first thought is him riding subway. Like, yeah, I know. Just like a normal person. And it's like, wow. Wow, dude. Could you imagine you get on the subway, you look to your left, and Keanu Reeves is right there. You're just I'd like, be like, I'd be what? like, I hand him a note. Did someone kill your dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, and someone killed his dog. Like, give get, the man a him. break. <laughs> I didn't kill your dog. You know what? I hand him a note that says, "You're breathtaking." You're breathtaking. <laughs> that... Cyberpunk. Give him a message. Give him a message that says, "I know who killed the dog." I know who killed your dog. Hand him a pencil. Dude, I can't. Dude, I guarantee you how nice of a character he is. He would write back. He he wouldn't say a word. He'd write back. Who was it? I like the meme that goes around <laughs> where it's that really like like hellhound looking thing, and then it's just like a golden retriever smiling, and it's like Keanu Reeves and John Wick, and then Keanu Reeves in real life, and I'm like, it's so true. <laughs> Where's the lie on this one, cuz? Cuz. Cuz. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm I am stoked for <laughs> Cyberpunk. Again, it might not be a game that I, you know, one of the games that I'm like <gasps> over, but it's like me. I'm like Cyberpunk. <laughs> it's on my list for sure. You'll give it a, a good go through and see if you like it. And... Oh, I'm I'm super excited. I'm just when we're comparing games, you know, ain't nothing gonna beat June nineteenth. I know. I ain't know. nothing gonna beat June nineteenth. I know. We should probably talk about this one next. Yes. Guys! Y'all need a chill, bro. Yes. Any other words on Cyberpunk? Like, how do you guys think the game's gonna be? It's going to be breathtaking. It's gonna be breathtaking. <laughs> I mean, the graphics are amazing already. The graphics, yeah, the graphics looked absolutely incredible. I had to. You set yourself up for that one. Yeah, you know, men here are actually trying to have a... a a real conversation and you just have to pipe in. Y'all were just fighting over Keanu Reeves. <laughs> nah, I just simply said he's mine. There's, yeah. no, there's no fighting. Uh, no, he's mine. <laughs> that, that's not a fight, though. <laughs> he's mine. Oh, whatever. So. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, honestly, though, the graphics did look amazing. They, it does look fun. It looks interesting. The graphics didn't look as good, though, as um, the Samurai game. The Samurai game. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Well, one thing about it, you you really don't know what the story is going to be about. Like, I know it doesn't I know. show anything, which, which I, I which enjoy. is awesome. I love games that do that. They don't tell you what's going to happen. They don't even implement anything. To me, it's like maybe a robbery gone wrong, and dude gets like he doesn't die, 
But Keanu Reeves is his buddy and gonna bring him back. Yeah, he like Keanu Reeves like rescues him and he becomes a new person and all that stuff. And he's trying maybe he's trying to recover his memory. He doesn't remember what happened before he got shot. I I feel like that game's gonna have a twist at the very end though. I feel like it's gonna be a very good game and then the in the end it's gonna blow your mind. The ending's gonna be not what someone expects, I can guarantee it. Hopefully. Like maybe maybe well, Keanu Reeves is looking for the dude who killed that uh the guy that he stabbed. I don't know. And trying to recover his memory, see who killed him and then the next thing you know, you know they gain this like friendship and then Keanu's like, Damn, you don't wanna kill my brother. <laughs> You Did killed you kill my, my brother? dog. I think so it's like, you that killed my dog. Be quiet. We're not talking about that. Done. 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 <laughs> end of end of podcast for you. Go get me a beer. No. Please. No. Damn. I tried. Next up on my agenda. Oh god damn it! I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm talking about Avengers. Why is this not taking up the full screen? Here's a display capture. Oh, well, I don't know why. Oh well. I was just some weird kid why from it Jersey. Was it playing this whole time? Yeah. Why didn't you say something? Oh, because I thought you had an earbud in. No. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> it's only a minute long? Yeah. That's all you need, it's the Avengers. Is an entrance. I, just, I feel like it's gonna be really cringeworthy. I feel like it, it's going to be as well, but we did this. Yeah, like all the characters, and everything. You know, like a majority of them can fly, and I feel like the flying mechanic's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Clanky. As much as I love Marvel, I don't even know if I'm gonna get the game. Right yeah, I, I'm not. I'm I'll have to wait to see what the reviews are. I'm excited for it, but I'm like, I don't know if it's going to be all that Cause I'm, my girl's not even in there, bro. I don't see no Scarlet Witch anywhere. I'm done. Alright, I know she's not technically an Avenger. To me, she's an Avenger because of, um, what Hawkeye said to her. But that's just me. That's just me. Scarlet Witch ain't in it. I'm not a fan. That's fair. Keanu Reeves is in my game. If they took him out, I'd be highly pissed off. If Keanu Reeves wasn't in that game, would it make a difference? No. I think it would. Actually, I meant to say yes. Sorry, my bad. You're so dumb. That's actually a good question, Ethan. What do you think? If Keanu Reeves was not in Cyberpunk, do you think it'd make a difference? I was excited for Cyberpunk before I even knew Keanu Reeves was in it. When I so, saw Keanu Reeves was in it, I was like, It sealed what? the deal. <laughs> it sealed the deal. I, I feel like, though, it would make a difference for a lot of people. I feel like it would have made a difference for me. Cause... Yeah, it wouldn't get much, as much publicity as it is. Yeah, because people would have been like, Oh, you know, it's just a video game. You had Keanu Reeves, and, and people are like, Oh my fucking god, Keanu Reeves is in a fucking... Me. Me. I would have been like, whatever. Okay, yeah, whatever, but thank add Keanu Reeves in it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks like a badass game. Yeah. It really does. But the fact that you have Keanu Reeves saying, I wouldn't have even, I I wouldn't have even watched the trailer had I not, had the reports not been Keanu Reeves a new trailer. I would have been like, wait, what is this game? Whatever, but I I probably would have seen the trailer. (laughs) Keanu Reeves is probably going to be the bad guy in it. (gasps) Oh, yes! And like, every time you sigh, like, since it's an RPG, you should be able to decide if you want to be good or bad or neutral. But he cool. could be like all the bad decisions are like what Keanu wants you to do. <laughs> Keanu says this. Keanu says that. Keanu, Keanu says this. <laughs> Follow Keanu or die. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not dying today. Die with Keanu. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Keanu says to shoot your foot. Okay. Oh, is this like Simon yeah. says, but it's Keanu yes, Dad. says? Keanu said yes. <laughs> yes, uh, Papa. I like how we went right back to Simon. <laughs> we went right back to Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Alex. <gasps> is it my game? Let's talk about Animal Crossing. Yay! I have nothing to say. <laughs> Yay! 
Uh, let me go ahead and click over the trailer. I'm not watching the trailer. I'm gonna go get me another beer. Yay! So. You know more about this game? Go ahead. Yay! You can be the center of attention. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Summed up in five seconds, you go to a an island and you live in death. That's the that's the basis of this game. <laughs> that's it. And you just do this. This is what you do. Oh, that looks so nice. Here you go. Yep, you clear it out, you make a, a spot for a house, and then you live in debt. I just paid off my second house loan today. Oh, that's a pretty sp oh, I haven't seen any of this yet. And the animals talk like they're stupid. I don't like how the animals talk. But, I, I'll live with it. What? It's so cute. I love it. Look, it's our like, capitalist overlord. I like what uh, some of the people in the community have been doing, creating like heavy metal stuff. Dude. Like shirts. Dude, I'll have to send a video to the group chat, the colossal group chat, about um, what what I did last night. There. I'll get out of the king's seat. Oh, whatever. That's my seat, so thank you. So you're, you're a dude? Yeah. You just call yourself a king. What a weirdo. Oh, well. Oh, right, so there's uh, that game. So <laughs> there's that game, you says. Alex loves the game. Me? I, I my... probably ain't ever gonna play that motherfucker. I, I would like the game, but my problem is... It requires too much commitment. Like Dude, you have to wait too much. real days, real days yep. to do stuff. And I'm just like, yep. yeah, no thanks. Okay, I love it. in I... game hours, that's a different story. No, it's Satan. No, it's Satan. Our capitalist overlord. <laughs> no, I just I don't I don't want Animal Crossing. I honestly. If Alex buys a Switch, it'd probably be deleted off my Switch. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna buy a Switch. Cause hell not. And I'll just play it all day on mine. Pokemon, however, I love the new Pokemon Shield and Sword. I have Shield personally. Tom Nook equals Satan. I don't know. The new the the fucking fox that arrived on my island yesterday apparently sells you fake art. And gyps you out of money. So I'm excited to uh, see what he gypped me out of. Me, I, I, the new Pokemon Shield game is fucking incredible. I can catch the Pokemon that I've longed for, bro. I love it. But I'm also a huge Pokemon fan. So what? What? What is the whole point of Animal Crossing? Ooh, it's geez. a sandbox. It's a sandbox Wait, game, well, so you pretty much do whatever you want. You missed it. I I summed it up in like five seconds. You move to an island and you live in debt. That's that's the gist of the game. You just live in debt to a capitalist overlord named Tom Nook. <laughs> but he's really nice to you. That's the point. That's the whole point to the game. Yes, you just live in debt. Nintendo said, "Do you want to live in debt?" Me, no. They say. Yeah, Nintendo just got do, hacked. Do, do you want um? Do you want to do chores? No. See, when what you when you compare an animal game, yes, I'll do it for twenty thousand. Animal hours. Crossing to The Sims. The Sims to me is more appealing because you don't have to wait real days Which, to actually do stuff in that that's, game. That's a fair. That's a fair criticism. I but you pretty much do the same thing. I, however, do like the real day thing. I I do enjoy that. So it's more or less, it's more or less like Sims mixed with Minecraft. Yeah, it's it has like the crafting wow. that Minecraft does. But there's no hostile mobs in it. 
That's dumb. Yep. You pretty well sell your soul to the the raccoon named Tom. That is so dumb. <laughs> but if there's no like real danger, then what the, I ain't behind the game, bro. There's no it's real danger. It's an escapism game. It's not supposed to be a challenge. Ah. Uh, Ethan, it's one of them games. What? You participated, you still get a reward. <laughs> yeah, pretty uh -huh. much. That's that's the kind of game. There's no there's no negative shit nope. in this game. It's just oh you participated. Except, well, Good job. You got I bit by a tarantula. Good job. I was gonna say I shouldn't say that the wasps will sting you and the tarantulas will bite you and make you pass out. Those are really the only hostile. Oh, they make you game, pass though. out. I think they should make you lose all your game save. Oh yeah, permadeath. <laughs> <Ouch>. <laughs> permadeath. Oh, you you put like over a year's worth of gameplay in here? Aww, oh, it'd be a shame if you lost it all because of a tarantula. It'd be a, it'd be a shame to watch some you your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, any other games before we get into Last of Us? God of War. <laughs> oh, God of War. What you want to talk about God of War? I, I want to take you through the experience of watching that for the E3 trailer. The E3 fan reaction. Oh shit. The, I don't know. E3 reaction, if we're gonna do like a, a fan reaction to me, it's definitely. I think Last of Us still got it. Oh, Last of Us definitely could be up there with that too. Nah, did you see Last of Us 2 E3 reaction? Uh, yeah, I saw it. Like, they were like, oh, alright, we done. As soon as they, but wait, as soon as they saw more. the <laughs> Firefly symbol, everyone like went crazy. They were like, oh! <laughs> Yeah, my thing was, it was, uh, which one is it? Uh. Why, why does it say. Do I have to post a link? I don't know which one you want to see. Uh. Give me a second. But yeah, like, The Last of Us reaction, because they were, they were like shutting it down, like, oh wait, we do have one more, and the whole room goes dark, and they're like... And then it yeah, just slowly they're... starts... Yeah, the guy's just like, thank you all for coming out, but uh, we still got one more for you. Everyone's like, what? <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> what? What? I think he's talking to you. Oh, awesome. Yeah, pretty well. If you pick up a do-it-yourself recipe on that game and you already have it, it's just like, huh, you already have this. And I'm like, well, I'm going to go sell it then. Yeah, I want to make sure I get the right one. Well, do you want to do the E3 reaction or yeah, just the... I'd okay. say, I'd uh, say a reaction to the reaction. A reaction to the a reaction. reaction. To the reaction. Of the reaction. Right. So what's everyone think about Modern Warfare? What? what? Here. Modern yeah. Warfare. The whole Modern Warfare. Yeah. What do you think of it? I don't know. I love and hate the game. On that game. Just like every other Call of Duty, I love and hate them. I think other than the I hate to love the game. How about that? I think other than the fact that when you go to download an update, oh yeah, you gotta re-up. You have to almost just reinstall. It acts like it has to reinstall the game. That's it the does. one thing. It has to. Yeah, that's the one thing that I absolutely cannot stand. Other than that. I, uh, there are, again, there are some maps that I absolutely hate, some maps that I love, and I think it's... Yeah, we know this is Justin. <laughs> For the I, I would think, overall, I, it's better than... To me, I like it more than uh, Black Ops 4, but yeah. that's just because... Yeah. Black Ops 4 brought back our boots on the ground, which I loved, but I think Modern Warfare took it the next step. To make made it a little more enjoyable. I don't like the specialist idea all the time, especially when it was boots on the ground. I made it. Uh, I did like 
Black Ops 4, but then at the same time, it's like the time to kill in that game is retarded. Yeah, this one's a little more, more balanced, I think. And it's a little bit more classic Call of Duty. There's, there's one thing I love about Modern Warfare that makes me love it more. That's how much control, like, you have over your control scheme. Like, yes. oh, you want to tap the slide? Oh, go right ahead. Tap the slide. Yeah, Don't ahead. hold it. Yeah. You want... You want to set a contextual tap? Yeah, go for it. Do it. Yeah, that is nice. And again, I think I think they added that much control into the game because of the crossplay. I said it before. Yeah, That's they true. had to even it out. Yeah, they, ba- they had to balance some way. it. Do I like the crossplay idea? Fuck no. I do, but I don't. I hate it. Why? Why? Why even worry about a console? Why, why worry about what to buy next if you're just going to crossplay games? Well, that's true. That is, that's a good point. If you're just going to crossplay it. That is true. Like, if I'm playing on controller, I'm going to go against PlayStation 4 players. I, I can understand going against Xbox. I could. Yeah, I, I like the console crossplay. Because that's nice. everyone knows there's a battle. No matter how many times you say, I can play on all the systems... You there's, always have that one that you love. There's a preference. There's a preference. There's still a preference. And I like the fact that PS5 is coming out, and it is going to be crossplay with PS4. Yeah. See that? I like I that. I love that idea. I That's like the it. best idea in the entire universe of console gameplay, right there. I agree with yes, Justin. I, yes, I agree. As I well. love the fact that you can put five attachments on your primary, five attachments on your secondary. Yes. That's nice. And they have so many attachments, like, there's... Before we get to the perk system, though, the perk system, I, I don't like it. I, I don't really uh, like I'm not it a fan of it either. Yeah, I wish but... I could still add two blues, two reds, yeah. two yellows, whatever. Yeah, like, I have like... wild cards in the game. I do like, I do like the gun perks, that. though. I like that I there's like the, gun, the gun, perks. gun perks. I do and I don't. Yeah. Because yeah. I want FMJ and sleight of hand. Sleight exactly. Sleight of hand needs to be a perk, not a perk on a gun. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Because sleight of hand, why, why, I don't know, that, that one just baffles me because it's like. they're not locked behind paywalls. True. Yeah. I do like that. The best perk system ever, well, I have to go clear back to Ghost. You had ten, was it ten? Ten points. I think it was ten. Ten points. points. Oh, okay. You you bought your perks out there. Huh. I like that. And you can either get like one really high one and then a couple low ones or you could do like mid tiers the whole time mine was super easy bro i had sleight of hand uh focus it was easy yeah like the perk system was better on ghost yeah definitely this this game restored some faith in call of duty for me i'm still not a big fan of battle royales but i i don't mind this one i feel like if i played Warzone more, I might actually grow to like it. It's just, I play it and I just want to go play Apex because I'm like, I wreck on Apex. Be- well, yeah, that and there's no campers. You're not going to climb a ladder and get shot because some I know. fucking fag yeah. ass motherfucker yeah. going to sit there in a the corner. There's no building. Jerk off with his mom or some there's shit. There's no building in Apex. There's. Apex is a little bit more run and gun, and that's my style. That's my play style is run and gun. Warzone's more campy. Fortnite is really campy because you can build. Not really. I always thought it. Well, I don't like the building because I'm like. But I, it's not campy if you push the the team. I mean. I do agree with that, Justin. I do enjoy Warzone more than Blackout. I do. I hated Blackout, but I do enjoy Warzone a little bit. <laughs> I'm only gonna say I like Blackout sometimes a little bit more in Warzone just because I'm a sniper. That's fair. That's fair. And sniping on black blackout was so much fun. I, I can I'll agree with I that. I mean, it's fun on Warzone too, but blackout was a lot more open. I think. Yeah. Like a lot more open. All right. I think I found the one. <laughs> we don't have to watch the whole fifteen minutes because part of it's like a like a gameplay thing too. But. Do you see one that says E3 2016 God of War reveal live reaction? Front row. Uh, yeah, right there. I think it's the first one on mine. 
PlayStation Haven yep. posted it. Yeah, that's conference. the one. Yeah, that's it. Yes. And like I said, we don't have to watch the whole entire video because it's like a gameplay afterwards, yeah. the, after the trailer. But Do we skip to like five minutes or something it looks like, maybe? Yeah, there's there's like an orchestra at the beginning playing music. <sighs> that's how they introduced the trailer. Alright, let's get into it. God of War, baby! For sure. Oh, they said. So, you know, it starts out as a normal trailer. You're just over here, like, oh, okay, it's a kid playing with toys. <laughs> Whoa, that was a deep voice. <laughs> wait, who is? That? Wait, somebody said. What for? That sexy voice. Dude, you know that voice anyway. I'd be freaking right now, bro. Well, someone was like, wait, wait. The fucking chill that you got, bro. Oh, there we go. And then you're just like, oh! <laughs> oh my god, somebody just said that. Everyone's out there geeking. Someone's like crying <laughs> in the audience right now. I don't know how they didn't pick it up from the start, though. I would have. I'm like, yeah, this guy would work. 100%. Listen to that voice. For for me, I didn't know like at first. Uh, his voice sounded familiar. I was like, okay, that kind of sounds like Kratos, but, but you, you know, sure. I saw like the Nordic outfit that uh, his son's wearing. I was like, yeah, see, that's kind of. Uh, as soon as I what? heard the voice, and, well, I seen the outfit and then I seen the heard the voice. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I never seen a reaction video though. Yeah, because, you know, I'm used to God of War being Greek mythology, not this Nordic-ass-looking place. Not this Nordic-ass-looking place. Wow. Not this Nordic-ass-looking But I like that. I like how they incorporated another mythology. thing of gods. Yeah. So, it tells you that in this universe, there are multiple mythologies that exist. Only fire! When I tell you to fire, I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Craig just still has his. Do not be his. Sorry. Be better. Fine. As usual, we have Kratos with his hot headed anger. Jump to anger right away. Look at that beard, though. He reminds me of Mad Rush. <laughs> he does. He really does. Oh my god, yes, it does. I agree. He was freaking the fuck out. Look at that Leviathan axe. God damn. Oh, you want to punch the shit out of this guy? Go for it. Keep clapping. No! no. <laughs> you have yet to prove that. You have a chance. Then find that deal. Imagine what happens like the dude playing this game right now for the reveal if he fucks up or something. 
He died. Yeah. Everyone would boo him. <laughs> I wonder if that ever happened. I'm kind of curious. I think it has. He's only killed his whole family. Your deer is getting away. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Your deer is getting away. He doesn't say a fucking word. I love it. I love the reaction to it. This game has amazing character development too. Like this game's just awesome. This game's just amazing. You know another game that's underrated? I played on actually the Wii. Um, was Prince of Persia? Prince of Persia is a good one. It really is. The only one I've played is Sandstones of Time. There's gonna be another God of War. Mm hmm. This game, this game gave me a boner. Kratos alone gives me a boner. Ooh. It's because he looks like Mad. Uh, talks like Mad? <laughs> Give you that. Sorry, man. Give you that Spartan dick. <laughs> <laughs> he shows you the real Spartan rage. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I definitely like the God of War, all of them. Um, mm -hmm. It seems like. Those games, the graphics were always better on those games too. It doesn't matter. Just like uh, Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed. Those graphics from PS3 and PS4, they just, I don't know. Really Bro, you know, what, you know what game still has like amazing graphics? Uncharted 4. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. That game to this day probably has the best graphics I've ever seen. I'm, and I'm not trying to be biased best graphics I've ever seen was back on PlayStation 3 when The Last of Us came out. I'm going to tell yeah. you right now, when you're playing PS3 and you like, you play Assassin's Creed 3, which I did. I love Assassin's Creed 3. And I'm like, when it came to The Last of Us, this game, I don't know. The graphics on, on The Last of Us from PS3 was just my Phenomenal, blood. yeah. Like, it, it was playing a movie. I felt like I was playing a movie. That's the best way I can describe it. Now, of course, you know, they're going to have their work cut out on, on PlayStation 4, but... Yeah, I agree. Even, even when the remaster came out, having the remaster that game for PlayStation 4, I... They did one hell of a job. But, I can't give them best graphics for PlayStation 4. I can give them best graphics easily for PlayStation 3. Yeah, right. But the best graphics I've seen on PlayStation 4, I would have to say, is uh, Detroit Becomes Human. Yeah, I was watching okay, that. Okay, that game it. is definitely up there. I think. <laughs> mm. Dude, Detroit I tear up. Human. I, not even at the end of the game. I 
I teared up so much in Last of Us. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, do you know how long Detroit Become Human was in development? It was, it was in development for a while. Yeah, and then like it came out and everyone was like, these freaking graphics, man. <laughs> Another good game developed though was Destiny. I, I, I think Destiny was a well-produced well like, I loved the yeah. that game, but the only issue I had is I didn't have no friends to play them. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's when me and Mad Russian was, we wasn't like, we was kind of doing our own thing at the time, man. And he, he that's where Ludo and some yeah. of those guys came from because he went with them and I went with myself. And, you know, I played a little bit here and there, did some raids and stuff, but it just, I don't know. The development of that game is amazing. Destiny 2, it's good. I like Destiny better. It's Destiny not as 1, good as yeah. the first one. Destiny 1 definitely is a lot better. Again, though, you think it took 12 million, I'm pretty sure it took 12 million dollars to make that game. And, and Grand Theft Auto 5 was like 9 million. <laughs> they got their money's now. worth. <sighs> The only thing I hate about Destiny, the storyline. The storyline in the first and second game, oh, they're horrible. <laughs> yeah. And my problem with Destiny, they try too hard to be funny. Like, the amount of jokes in every single line. Like, every other line, they're trying to crack a joke, and it's not funny. The it only ruined one the game. was funny was that robot dude. Uh, what the fuck is his name? He dies in Destiny too. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I know you're talking about. He's kind of he's kind of sarcastic. He was my favorite too. He's he the was only funny. one that could actually make. Yeah, he's the only one that could actually make jokes. It's because he was sarcastic all the time. So, but he dies in Destiny too. Yeah, which actually threw me off the game. I, I found out that he died. I I pretty well quit. I was like, nah, fuck this. I played a few times with my friends just to, you know, do some raids and stuff, but that was it. Was was not um, as good as Destiny 1, though. What's another decently underrated game that's pretty good? Everyone tells me Black Flag, but I just, uh, to me, I didn't like it. I don't give a fuck. I like it, but I like the third one better. Yep. Same. The third one was, oh, so good. Let me look. Guys, I got so many games. Another underrated game here. Let's look at some underrated. To me, I think, I think Detroit Become Human is pretty underrated. In a sense. To, to me, at least. Like, I mean, the graphics are praised, of course, but... The story is amazing too, but I don't, I don't I don't know. I didn't see a lot of people talk about it. I would say I would say I don't feel like Detroit became become human is underrated. It might be underrated now, but when it came out, that was the talk. Everyone because of the play. graphics. Yeah, it's because of the graphics. <laughs> Underrated game, we should say Goat Simulator. <laughs> Spider Man. I'll have to say Spider Man's another underrated game. Marvel Spider Man to me is a fucking blast. Yeah, you fucking love those, that game. Those graphics are really, really good. Yeah, agreed. I think Monopoly Plus is a very underrated game. Dude, Medieval's a fun ass game, but no one even knows what that is. That was a PlayStation 1. Charm. What the hell? Fucking badass. But I, I would honestly have to say that Spider Man is an underrated. Oh, game. you pass. You pass by such a good game that I wish would have been finished, but they never finished it. Which one, dude? Oh, PT. I can tell PT. you. PT. Yeah, I can tell you right now. I want PT, but now those those graphics. Oh. <laughs> Bro, those graphics scared the shit out of me. Oh yeah, was Stranded scared. Deep. Everybody was... who watches this, Stranded Deep is a really good game. I enjoy the fuck out of it. It's another kind of like free world survival game. That is a, is a that is a must. If 
if you were into that. Wait, what was it? Shame to deep. Oh. Yeah, PT was scared the crap out of me. Like, woo. Two of the best games in the world, right there. Actually, the two best games in the world, in my opinion. I just think I don't know. To me, the story for Last of Us beats everything. For especially for when it came out. See, that's my thing. It was June thirteenth, twenty fourteen, I believe, was the original release date for Last of Us. You played it, dude. I played it. I, I won't forget. I played Last of Us, the first one. Every time I played it was in front of Adam, my buddy Adam, Swag Dog, <clears throat> and um, I did not play the game when he wasn't around. I played it in front of him. He'd always eat the popcorn. I'm sitting there playing again. The he didn't want to play it. He just wanted to watch me. Both of us cried. I ain't gonna lie. Both of us cried, bro. He's only watching the game. I'm playing the game. I'm the one who bought the game. I'm the one who's like really invested in the game. And we both cried. And the fact that like at the end of the whole storyline and everything, it just, that to me was the best storyline for how old it was. Like, it's a 2014 game. We're in 2020 now. The story from back then, it's just incredible. I'm gonna go wash these brushes. It's sense. one of those games that the story holds up even after all these years. Yeah, it's still an enjoyable story no matter how many times you play it. And that, that to me makes it a great game. It's a game that I can play over and over and not get bored of because you can even yeah. go back and do like new game pluses and stuff. But what makes it to me the best game is back then you wouldn't think of a story like that, and that's what really set this game above all others. Like, I'm not going to lie, I think some of the games after The Last of Us, they kind of took, you know, bits and pieces of that game and was like, let's make a good story out of this. I wouldn't be surprised how many games actually did kind of look to The Last of Us as a, a stepping stone, you know? I, I have just noticed that Sony has a way with making these amazing games. Because they've made all these good games. Last of Us... God of War, God of War. Uh, Uncharted. There's a couple others, I know. There, there's Did others. They make, um, like... They made Tomb Raider. That was a. That's Sony. Sony made that too. That's what I thought. Tomb Raider was pretty good too. I never played it. I watched people play it. I've never played it either, but. But yes, Sony. Sony makes the best games, in my opinion. Hands down. Oh yeah. I don't give a fuck. There's no, there's no debate for me on that one. It's just you look at you look at and, how many titles they have. Like, and they also are have like best game of the year. Titles. Yeah, realize how all the games we just said. Think of the graphics too. Like, not many games have amazing engines to run those kind of graphics. <laughs> and we're gonna sit there and we're gonna talk about how good their graphics is, but it's Sony. They make TVs, they make all this other shit. Oh, yeah. Like, they got people they can that can it. make graphics. Then you look at Microsoft, you got Halo. Dude, I watch people play Halo, and to flip a, flip a car, you don't even get no action to me. You just you just hold square, or whatever the fuck the button is, that the button where square would be, no. and it just flips. Come I'm, on, bro. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna trash Halo. I love Halo. It's one of another one of my favorite series, but... I'm just comparing graphics. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm I get what you're saying. I'm not saying the game's trash. I'm just saying the graphics, like, come on, bro. At least flip the car. Microsoft, make it make it happen, bro. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, you take The Last of Us. If, if Joel had to flip a car or something, yeah, he, okay, like the time he had to push out the garage. Bro, you actually pushing the shit out of that fucking car. You could feel it. You could feel you pushing that car. That's yeah. Right. I, Sony has a way of doing that, too. They make it like you're... You feel like you're in the game. That's a good way to say it. And I think Last of Us was one of the heartfelt games that came out, and it really, like, showed. Like, people playing the game was like, whole, holy shit. And, like, the bunny scene. I'm sure you've seen the bunny scene. Yeah. Little bunny hopping around. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know Sony threw that shit in there for fun. He's like, Naughty Dog and the creators is over there like, yo, let's watch this. Let's add a bunny, and then, boom, arrow. Let's see how many people freak the fuck out over that one. I guarantee you they were thinking that. Like, they threw that shit in there. They were like, let's let's make the, the scene look cold and warm at the same time, and then murder. <laughs> you know? It's such a... It's, it's, uh, huh. Dude, like, like, okay. If we're talking, like, emotions in games, same thing with um, Ellie getting chased by that dude. Like, you felt like some shit was going on in that bar. I don't know. You, I don't know if you've actually played the game or not. I never finished it. So, like, this um, guy was, like, chasing her down in the bar. Like, this restaurant type thing. And it's, like, I don't know. It's just, it got eerie and, and disgusting at the cutscene. It was, like, no. Nah, now this ain't about to happen. And then Joel comes busting through the door. But, like, the emotions in, in Assassin's Creed 3, I think, was a very, very well-placed game for PlayStation 3. Like, um, I don't know how well you remember it, but do you remember, like, the, uh, the tribe getting under attack? Yeah. Like, you could feel it. You could feel the panic in that game. Especially if you were a big Assassin's Creed fan like I was. Dude, I played them all. And then the third one was the last one I played because I did not like four. I just, I couldn't get down with it. I like some of the people you meet in uh, Black Flag, but... <laughs> Blackbeard. Yeah, and you Kid. meet, um... Oh, fuck. You meet a lot of, like... Big-name people that you would know today as politicians. God damn, I can't even think of any of them. I can picture them. I can sing them. Just don't know. I can't think of their names right now. Hmm. See, like, Borderlands don't give me... Don't... Doesn't give me that type of feeling. You know what I mean? Borderlands is just fun to play if you want to shoot things. <laughs> if you want to kill God. things. And, and Detroit Become Human was the same way with me. It, you become emotionally involved with it. Oh, uh, yeah. The games like that is something that I love. That, that is why Detroit Become Human is my favorite game. Because the more you played it, the more like shook you got while you played it. You're like, what? <laughs> I think, I think honestly, Ethan, you should like you should replay some of The Last of Us and beat it because like mm -hmm. uh, I'm in this Last of Us group and they say the same thing. Watching someone play it is different than playing it and like doing yeah. things. And when The Last of Us Two comes out, oh man, that's why that's why I I got like the goosebumps when I heard Ellie playing the guitar on, on the last of us two trailer which i did not actually play yet I'll, I'll get here in a second but that's where i like i felt the goosebumps because in the game a lot of people didn't catch it i don't think and then there's a lot that did it's like 50 50 um ellie asked joel if she could learn the guitar if, she, if he could teach her so yeah as soon as you hear the guitar and see her playing it it's like holy fucking shit this is we did it. We did it. This is about to happen. Because there was also talk about um, them not making The Last of Us Part 2 about Joe and Ellie. I'm like, what? Why would you do that? I wouldn't like that. And I think they listened to their fans for once on that. Because a lot of people was like, no, 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 no. Joe and Ellie has to be in The Last of Us 2 or we ain't buying it. And I think they actually listened to him. I'm gonna go ahead and play it real quick. Play it right, right, right. Let right, the right. chills begin. Oh, okay, the song is so good, too. Oh, yeah, I have it on my Spotify. 
already. Oh yeah, I did too. It's such a good song. Oh, I, I had you listen to it that one day too. Like, yo, play me this song, bro. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know some of it or most of it, so. I said I will, I will suck your fat <laughs> cock if you can play me this song. <laughs> See Naughty Dog, you're just like, oh, it's a, it's a Naughty Dude, Dog. Naughty game. Dog Instant Boner. I think they've made Uncharted as well, which is yes, they did. So much. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, that's right, yeah, they did. Naughty Dog is one of my favorite producers ever. Probably my favorite. I even got the decal on my helmet. Mm hmm. He a boy. <laughs> yeah, but when he opens his mouth, oh, the soothing feeling. Notice the window in this trailer, too. There's a lot of people that missed a window in this in this part of the trailer. I don't even know how. Like, I didn't even get that far into the game, and I know what that window is. <laughs> I think that's one of the other reasons I rate this game as the top game because the music just matches it so fucking perfect. I'll keep this page up just in case. Who gifted you a sub? I have no idea. It's a good question. Hey, Radical, we're just talking about some video games here. If you got a, a suggestion on what we want to talk about, let us know. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't understand how people missed that window either. Like, that window was clearly from The Last of Us. Yeah. Like, the, the home the home screen, I guess you would call it. Mm-hmm. I don't know who gifted you a sub. Is it a sub or? I don't know. New Avengers game. I think I went over that one. But let's see if there's another trailer for that one. I think that first one was boring as fuck.
This trailer is definitely better than the first one. Yeah. Let's make this quick. Secure the bridge. Those weapons can't get into the city. How do you set them up? File, knock them down. Thor, what's your status? There are humans trapped. Not the small, angry men with guns. Is that a joke? Did Thor make a joke? Sounds like they need better actors, though. <laughs> Tony, Thor, the cables. <laughs> Cap, what's going on over there? Dark Nightmare, what's your status? You should head back. No, stay on task. There are still civilians on this bridge. Damn it, they play us. Damn it, they play us. That's an interesting twist. I am enjoying it. Did you see the, the statue yet or no? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I don't know, man. What, I don't know. What are we waiting for? I just don't... I don't know. I just... I'm afraid that the game's gonna be clunky. But... I mean, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm completely wrong and this game's amazing, but... I, I agree. I think it's gonna be really cringe-worthy. Yeah. I, I feel like it's gonna like the Iron Man trying the to make graphics jokes look and shit. Good. Graphics look amazing. I'm not gonna say they're the best I graphics. I mean it's Square Enix, but Yeah, I'm not gonna say they're the best graphics, but for a game that Marvel made, I can't deny it. Bro, did you ever play If it's like Mar if it's like Spider Man's um graphics, I'm all hands down. Like, <laughs> Spider-Man graphics are amazing. Did you ever play, back on the PS2, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance? No, actually, I was not into Marvel back then, so no. Ugh. Bro, if you ever get a like, chance to play Space that, Age. if you ever get a chance to play that, play it. Don't play the second one, it's not worth it. The first one, though, play it. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. It, Iron Man trying to crack some jokes there. I just I don't feel like it's gonna. I think it's gonna be cringy. Yeah. I mean, I, we'll find out. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's really good. But I just I I'm probably not. And trust me, out of a you know me Marvel fan, huge Marvel fan. Probably not gonna pre-order a game. Probably not gonna buy it right away. Probably gonna wait till the reviews come out. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to see what others say about it first because I don't wanna. Like, they can spoil the story for me, I don't care. As long as it's good, I'll buy it. But I don't, I just don't, I don't see me buying it before it comes out. I don't. Last of Us 2? That bitch was pre-ordered day one, baby. And it came out like, yo, we can pre-order it. Bam, pre-ordered. I think it's fucked. 
I'm pre-ordering some games. My next paycheck, I think. Sometimes pre-ordering a game is bad, though. Because, like, they already got through oh, yeah. board. They ain't gonna fix the bugs. I hate, I hate creators like that, but Naughty Dog's not like that. Um, as much as we want to bash Call of Duty, none of their producers are like that. Plus, mm -hmm. they got a they got a feed for the. Yeah, their um, games always their e games always broken, so it's okay. They got a feed for esports, <laughs> so they, they can't keep their game broken either. Yeah. I mean, they can. <laughs> Cause half of them still broken, but still. Oh uh, yeah, I mean. I, if we're gonna talk good updates, I think. Rainbow Six is the only game that can update and not break. Probably. You're probably right. They add characters and the game just does not break. Like, it yes, it could be, you know, some characters might be overpowered when they come out, but they, they, <sighs> but they, they see that they, and then they fix it instantly. Yeah, they, they patch it like a week or two later. They're like, oh, we need to fix time, this. There was one time when the character came available, um, and I got an update for the next two or three days after, like in a mm -hmm. row. They yeah, kept, sometimes they're right on the character. There. I'm like, holy shit, bro! Like, thank you, but damn. <laughs> but that's another that's another company who listens to their their the players, and that's what it, it comes down to. Just listen to the players once in a while, not all of them. Which it, it sucks because you know. We all have different opinions on, on games, so it's like, who do you mm -hmm. listen to? You can't just listen to the majority, because sometimes the majority just, they're ridiculous. Uh, yeah, like how they're talking about the campers on Modern Warfare. It's like, yeah, campers are annoying, but like, Modern what Warfare was built for that kind of gameplay. And plus, if you know where the person is, you can kill them. Just pre-fire. It's yeah, that easy. You, you you piss so many people off when you sit there and say, well, you can't hit a target that's sitting still. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, I make them oh, so mad oh. when I say that. But it's like, at the same time, there was a guy that says, uh, if they're going to bring night mode to Warzone, they need to ban thermals. And someone replied back to him, he said, then what the fuck's the point of thermal? Yeah. <laughs> what is the point? Like, <laughs> if you're going to ban thermals, you need to ban them in the daytime. Or, yeah, the... the like seriously, if you are gonna complain about thermals, put a cold blooded on. Exactly. That easy. Thank you. And again, I think it comes down to the perk system being broken as well. Like I'd rather run two perks. Yeah. Yeah. Like okay, I think Black Ops Three had the, one of the the second best perk setup where you could run a wild card to run two like you know blue perks or something. Yeah. But this one's just. I don't like it. And you can't run specialist in um in Warzone, so then it just kind of defeats the purpose anyway. So, oh. Any other exciting news on video games we want to talk about? Dead Island Two still hasn't come out. <laughs> I don't think that game's ever going to come out at this point. It, that's been going on for is years. Is it called now. Dead Island Two though? Yeah, it is. Why? I don't know. They they might as well as just not even release the game. Like, Maybe I remember I around seeing all these other fucking games coming. Like, wow, we got to compete with that. We fucked. I'd buy the game. Even well, if it's shitty. If the graphics were shitty, I'd buy the game still. I love the Dead Island. Well, series. from what I saw, the graphics look good. Well, that's what I'm saying. That even, if like they're, even if they're PlayStation Three graphics, I'd buy the game. I love playing that game on PC still. Oh my god, yeah, that game is fun. Oh. Riptide Riptide is underrated People hated that game I loved it I love the fact I that I loved that game too Dude there was easter eggs in that game I don't even know if people knew Like you can get Freddy Krueger You can get uh, Jason And um, I think Michael Myers You can you can find all their like What were they Relics or some shit You could find Mm-hmm. But, like, I think that was badass in the game, but, you know, then you got people out there just complaining about the whole game in general and don't even give you a real reason why. It's like, what? Why are you going to complain about a game if you ain't going to give a real reason? But like, I complain about Call of Duty, but it's glitchy. To me, some of the shit is so glitchy. 
It makes the game unplayable. Exactly. Now I'm, I'm hooked up. Maybe I won't lag so much. I don't know. I'm going to find out here in about five minutes. And at the end of this podcast, is two hours long. So. I don't think we got anything else really to talk about. We got kind of went over it's, the big games coming out. It's buggy, but it's not Fallout 76 buggy. <laughs> oh my god, that game was ridiculous. I, I'll admit though, every Fallout game is buggy as crap. Fallout 3 is still broken to this day. What the hell was that game that came out that was... It was so glitchy when you would start it up, it would just close the application. Fuck. It was an anticipated game too. Oh. Uh, I know Mass Effect Andromeda is one. Bro, I can't and... think. It would ju- just came out not too long ago. Okay, not too long ago. I don't know. It came out with, um, I think, like Red Dead and all them. Oh my god, bro. When did that come out? I... I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember either. Oh, well, there's a game. There's a game that has good graphics. Uh, Resident Evil 2, the remake. Oh. Yeah, the remake. Oh. Oh my god, it had a blue title to it. It just came out not too long ago, and I just can't think of the fucking... Because it wasn't... It was a very highly anticipated game. Mm-hmm. But it just kept... What the fuck? Trying to cradle me way too much. You're going to break your back. Huh? You're going to break your back, Taylor. You want to go up again? You want to go up again? Games released... 2019. Here we go. I'll find it now. Yeah, I'm looking too. It might have been. It was something like the Outer Worlds. I don't think it was Outer Worlds. No, Outer Worlds was a very good game. Anthem. It was Anthem. Anthem would load up on uh, PC okay. and instantly close it down. That's how bad the glitch was. Okay. Yeah, I was. And I was, was gonna say that game, but I wasn't sure. game. Remember how like hyped up everyone was to play that game, and then they loaded up, and it just I, shut off. I was never hyped about that game. I don't know. I just saw it, and I was like, I feel like it's not even going to be good. I wasn't I wasn't excited for it at all, either. And I was right. It was not very good at all. <laughs> yeah, it was so bad. I, mean, I think they fixed it, but still. I just, I'm not... It didn't look fun to me. It might be fun now, but I don't care what the fuck, bro. But I think we're good here. Um, if you guys have uh, comments or anything, let me know what you guys want it in the next podcast. Maybe I can throw something together. This one was a little bit last minute but I was like you know what I want to make a fun podcast something that maybe we don't have to talk about so in depth I love video games you guys know I'm a, I'm a huge gamer hence the channel name um, so I hope you guys enjoy this podcast and if you're watching on YouTube please leave a like tell your friends to come watch it because we all know video games is amazing and y'all get my expert 
advice on video games as long as well as Ethan. He's also a huge gamer and probably knows a little bit more about the games I'm not used to, so that gives me insight on everything. So, hope you guys enjoyed, <laughs> and I will end this stream and probably restream here in about five minutes. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out. Bye bye.